Hello everyone and welcome back. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, and if you enjoy commentary that's straight to the point, without all the fluff, join our family. I'd personally love to have you. Happy New Year, everyone, except Tim Norman. So while we've been celebrating our holidays and looking forward to the new year, Tim Norman has been working behind the scenes along with his attorneys to get himself acquitted. Where we last left off, I had mentioned that there were motions before the judge for an extension to file pretrial motions. And there were two to three of those motions before the court, which were previously approved. But the latest one that was filed in December was finally denied. And then his attorney, Gloria Rodriguez, on December 14th, a day prior to his sentencing, filed two motions before the court one requesting acquittal and another requesting a new trial. You heard me right. So you may ask, what are the grounds for the request for acquittal and the new trial? The answer is going to blow your mind. I want you to listen closely. So have a seat because you're in for a ride. We know he was found guilty on all charges on September 16th of 2022. To refresh your memory, he was found guilty of murder for hire conspiracy to commit murder for hire, and conspiracy to commit mail and wire fraud. But now Tim is saying that his request is due to what they call Rule 29. Now what is this Rule 29? Rule 29 is when it says that the record is absent of evidence beyond a reasonable doubt. Tim's legal team suggests that there was a leap of faith pertaining to the evidence presented that tied the payments that Travell and Terrica received to Tim and subsequently the murder of Andre Montgomery. Tim's legal team is also arguing that the evidence brought by the government's case in chief was no evidence at all that would support the conclusion that he participated in any kind of life insurance fraud pertaining to the policies that were on Andre Montgomery. Plus, He's saying that he is entitled to a new trial based on 13 errors in the ruling before and during the trial. Some of those errors that his legal team is referring to are that during the trial, he was denied the motion to suppress evidence. He was denied the defense's request to compel Wally and Chris Carroll to testify along with other motions during the trial, plus 11 other instances where Tim and his legal team suggest that if those motions were granted, the verdict that the jury arrived at would have been in his favor. The court responded by letting Tim know that his request for an acquittal because of insufficient evidence is essentially ridiculous. They added that the evidence linking him to the death was not only sufficient, but overwhelming. Then they rebutted all 13 issues raised by his legal team and reiterated that the evidence linked Tim Norman to Andre's murder. One of those being his cell phone usage, where the plot was established, along with the messages between he and Wally, he and Travell Hill, he and Terrica Ellis, along with two other characters that were introduced in this case, who have not been indicted by the way, Chris Carroll and Ed Chandler. After 16 pages of rebutting Tim's request, For a mistrial and a new trial, the court requested that the motion be denied. This new motion before the court was submitted on 30 December 2022. As it stands, the judge is reviewing the response from the U.S. Attorney's Office, and a response will be given prior to Tim's sentencing, which was scheduled for December 15th but has since been moved. In regards to Terrica Ellis, she is in good spirits, as seen here and she has the full support of her family. Her sentencing, as of now, is scheduled for 10 January of 2023, so stay tuned. Let me know what you think about Tim and his continued fight for his freedom despite all the evidence and the guilty conviction. Is this delusion or the workings of a man who is willing to take everyone, including his mother, with him on the way down? If you haven't already, remember to Like the video and subscribe as it helps our channel grow and reach a larger audience, which in turn aids in getting our stories out. Also, turn on your notification bell and please watch 
when you're notified. Stay tuned for more. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care and again, Happy New Year.